Welcome to RV Electrical Systems Made Easy. This webinar is designed to help you as the RV user to get the most out of your electrical system. In this webinar, we're going to be discussing the 12 volt system and all of the charging components with it, along with the 12 volt loads. In addition, we'll be looking at the 120 volt system, how the power comes in, how the power comes through the transfer switch, and also power from the generator. And then of course we look at how the 12 volt system interacts with the 120 volt system. In addition, we have the troubleshooting game where we discuss how to troubleshoot electrical problems in your coach. I hope you find this seminar to be uh, educational and beneficial for you. To start, we're gonna look at 12 volt charging systems. The first 12 volt charging system we're going to analyze today is going to be the chassis engine charging system. Basically, as you drive your coach, the engine through the alternator is going to charge the chassis battery. It's gonna produce about 14.4 volts. Now, as it charges the battery, it'll also send 14.4 volts to the battery isolator, sometimes known as the relay delay. When it does that, it makes a connection which then allows the coach batteries to be charged as well. The second charging system we're going to look at today is the charging system from the converter, which is on the coach side. Typically when your coach is either plugged in or is running from generator power, the converter will take 120 volts and convert it down to 12 volts and then send it through the battery disconnect to the coach batteries. The key thing to know here is that the battery disconnect has to be on in order for it to charge the batteries. The system will work with the converter creating 12 volt to the rest of the coach and the chassis batteries not being part of any of it. So it's very important that we have the battery disconnect switch on whenever we're plugged in or when the generator is running. The third charging system we're going to look at is solar panels. The key thing on solar panels is solar panels need to be wired directly to the battery. Typically they're on the roof and they go through a charge controller which allows the power to come from the panel down and doesn't allow the power to go from the batteries back up. So it's a one-way valve if you were. But basically what happens is that power comes directly to the batteries and we want to make sure we bypass the battery disconnect. That way there when you're in storage the solar panel's always charging. In addition, some have even put two solar panels on, one to charge the chassis battery and one to charge the coach battery. Some of the fancier charge controllers will even split the charge, so you can have one big panel and that charge go to both batteries. So to review our charging systems, basically we charge three ways. First, we charge from the engine alternator. The second, we charge from the converter when the coach is plugged in or when we're running on generator. And the third is we charge from the solar panels.